Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can reset or recover the UCM admin password for the Avaya Visualization Performance and Fault Manager 3.0. This procedure will demonstrate the necessary tasks required to change the UCM LDAP admin user password. Let's look at a few important points before we begin. When the VPFM solution is not deployed as a single server, but rather as part of a cluster, then you'll need to perform this procedure from the primary node of the cluster. This procedure is identical for all supported VPFM operating systems, with the only exception being which super user account is used. For Windows 2003 or 2008, you'll be using the administrator account, and for the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5.4 or greater operating system, you would use the root account. This procedure can only be performed from the system console, either locally or via the remote desktop protocol for Windows or VNC for the Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. Also, this procedure will work whether the admin user exists on the UCM Open LDAP or external LDAP. And one final note, for this demonstration, I will be using a VPFM server deployed on a single Windows 2008 server, so I will be using the administrator account. If your VPFM is deployed on Red Hat, you will follow the same procedures shown here, but will substitute the user of administrator with that of root. Now, I've already gained console access to my Windows system, so the first thing I'll need to do is launch a web browser and navigate to the UCM login page. I'll quickly try to log in with my admin account, but as you can see, I am unable to authenticate. The first step in recovering the password is to modify the URL in the address bar. After the 8443, append a forward slash, then the word local hyphen login, all in lowercase as I have done here. Once you've done that, go ahead and press return. This will bring us to the local management page where we will log in and authenticate with the local super user account. In my case, because I'm on the Windows box, I will be using the administrator account, but you'll enter root here if your system is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. I'll go ahead and enter administrator in the user ID field, then my password, then press login. After authenticating, we will be presented with the security configuration landing page. Now, we won't actually press any buttons here or make any changes, but rather, we'll need to modify our URL one more time. Again, after the 8443, enter a forward slash, then the word password reset, all in lowercase except for the letter R and the word reset. Once you've modified the URL, go ahead and press enter, and you will now be directed to the UCM password reset screen. It is here where we can now reset the admin password to a temporary password. After you define a new password here, you'll need to change it once more on your first login with this new temporary password. For user ID, enter admin, then go ahead and type in your new password in the new password and confirm new password fields. After having done so, press the save button. If successful, you will see a message on the top left of the screen, password changed successfully. Let's now move on to the final step. At this point, you'll need to close your browser session, then relaunch a new one in order for this to work properly. I'll go ahead and do that now, relaunch my browser, then navigate back to my UCM login page. For user ID, I'll enter admin, and for password, I'll enter the password that I defined a few moments ago. As you can see, I am now being prompted to enter a new password. Once again, I'll enter a new and different password than my temporary password, and then new password and confirm password fields. I'll then press change, and if successful, will now be authenticated and directed to the UCM homepage. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.